A new reaction tonight from Oklahoma's Attorney General after dozens of Oklahoma lawmakers asked him to step in before the execution of a death row inmate. This as the clock ticks down to September 22nd when Richard Glossop is set to be executed. News Force Kai Tor K is in studio bringing us up to speed on this, Kai Tor. 61 lawmakers, about 40% of the state legislature, signed a letter to the AG supporting an evidentiary hearing for Glossop, and they aren't happy with the AG's response. Well, we were very excited about that. Um, I thought that was an incredibly brave thing for those lawmakers to step out and say, you know, this is a case that requires uh, the court to look at it. Death row inmate Richard Glossop and his legal team feeling energized to receive lawmaker support, with more than five dozen Oklahoma senators and representatives urging Attorney General John O'Connor to ask the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals to order an evidentiary hearing. Glossop has been on death row for 25 years on a murder for hire conviction after Justin Sneed testified that Glossop hired him to kill. Glossop's boss, Barry Van Treese. In a letter to the AG last week, the group of lawmakers pressed that new evidence from an independent investigation of the case needed to be reviewed, saying, quote, the report concluded that no reasonable juror who heard all the evidence would find Mr. Glossop guilty. 40% of our legislators sign on because they believe, like I do, that there's not enough proof, or at least there is not enough to, to go ahead and put him to death without having another hearing. O'Connor responded to the letter Tuesday, saying, quote, I cannot join in your request for an evidentiary hearing, citing that the Court of Criminal Appeals already concluded in a retrial beyond a reasonable doubt that Glossop enlisted Justin Sneed to kill Mr. Van Treese. The lawmakers, along with Glossop's attorney, Don White, telling News 4, the state must be certain it doesn't kill an innocent man. Because if we execute him on the 22nd of September and it turns out we were wrong, we can't bring him back. The AG says he'll leave it up to the Court of Criminal Appeals to decide on their own whether to have a hearing. Glossop is set to be executed on September 22nd.